So value added tax again, it is a business tax imposed and collected from the seller in the course of trade or business on the on every sale of properties, whether real or personal, lease of goods or properties, whether real or personal, or vendors of services. It is again an indirect tax since the buyer assumed or uh, shoulder the value added tax. So value added tax, it is a form of consumption tax. Uh, kaya ano yung consumption tax? Uh, in every, ano, in every purchase of goods or services, kada consume mo han goods or services, there is a corresponding value added tax on the goods or services na na avail or gain purchase natin. So as a buyer, value added tax is a tax on purchase. It is also called an input VAT. While a seller, value added tax is a tax only on the value added to the products or services sold, also known as output VAT. So the rationale, kung kaya no, nagkada kita in value added tax. So one is that it is a simplified tax administration to fostering honesty, three, higher government revenue, and the fourth is fostering national progress. So ano yun nga simplified tax administration? So simplified tax administration, it is a system, uh, the VAT system promotes efficient and simplified tax administration. It also curbs the tax evasion and fraud. So the value-added tax system encourages the issuance of receipt which is necessary to accumulate input tax credits what will minimize uh, output tax liability. Ano yung ibig sabihin hininga? Encourages the issuance of receipt uh, to accumulate input tax credits that will minimize output tax liability. So as a seller, kung ikaw seller ka, di ba, ang natin kaninang ginsisaring na kung seller kita, uh, ang, ang VAT nga meda natin is output VAT. So ang tax liability natin is iton nga output VAT. So kung waray natin tax credit which is the input tax from our purchases, then the output VAT as at aton babaydan. So salit nagiging uh, it encourages the seller na mag request or mag uh, require haniya gin palitan hin receipt sin resibo para uh, iton nga buyer or iton nga seller makaka makakagiban haniya tax liability which is the VAT payable. So kon imo output VAT less than imo mga in Input tax, input VAT, then mas malelesen or malel, uh, ma -re reduce ang imo tax liability. So kung waray ka mag, uh, mag inaro hin resibo, han imo mga ginpalit or ginpangumpra, then ang imo tax liability, han imo pambaligya is mas huro hataas. Eh waray mo man igma minus, waray ini nga tax input, waray mo man igma minus han imo output tax or output VAT. So therefore, in the VAT system, it encourages daw the issuance of receipt to reduce the liability of the taxpayer para ma-minimize niya through using the input tax credit. In the input tax credit, amin itong ginsisari natin nga, input VAT. So again, it it also curves the tax evasion and fraud. So kaya ano yan, nako-curve ang tax evasion. It's because ako nga, ako nga buyer wherein ito nga akong ginpalit is also igbabaligya ko. Igbabaligya ako. So ako nga buyer, maniniguro ako na na mga nga araw ako hinresibohan akong ginpalitan. Para kung ini nga mga goods nga akong ginpalit is akong liwat igbaligya han mga buyer, then ito nga input tax han akong ginpalit mababawas ko nga to han output tax nga akong ginbaligya so therefore ang tax liability is mami minimize ma 
babawasan. Tungod han mo input tax credit. That is um uh, rationally ko kay ano na na impose ini nga value added tax. Usa nga rason is that to simplify tax administration. Second is fostering honesty. So the value added tax system promotes honesty in tax payment as it will demand accurate receipts to support the input tax credits against output VAT payable. Amang tanggit siya rin kanina na para uh, para hiya makakapag uh, deduct hinta mga input tax credits, then dapat uh, may da talaga niya nga mga uh, supporting documents through mga resibo. Through niya mga input tax credit na mga receipts receipts na that supports your input tax credit. So the other one, higher government revenues. So the value added tax system has a wider tax base that enables the government to generate much needed revenues to support and enhance the public service. So kung nanumdum kita, ang atong primary purpose why we have taxation is that the primary purpose is to raise revenue. So, uh, tungod hindi nga value added tax, nagkakada it government, hindi mas wider nga tax base, mas higher na revenues through tax uh, collection from value added tax. Kasi tanan nga mo igbabalig ya, lalo na kung you are, subject, you are registered under value added tax system, then tanan nga mo igbabalig ya, uh, is subject to value added tax though we have some uh, exemptions so so again uh, tungod hininga value added tax the government uh, earned or received higher revenues for uh, to be used naman to support and enhance the public service the fourth one is fostering national progress. So the value added tax system support economic and public service administration. It enables to sustain economic growth by providing one opportunities to foster global competitiveness of the Philippine export products. And the other one is opportunities to build up the, the country's dollar reserves. So ano nga mga scenario kung kaya, kaya ano nagkada kung nakita yung global competitiveness uh, Tungod din nga aton nga mga export products. Uh, Mayroon na itong ginsisiring na VAT uh, exempt. Uh, kung nag export kita, kung nagbabaligya kita outside Philippines, ito nga aton mga products ang nagbabaligya outside Philippines is VAT exempt. Therefore, diri kita nagbabayad hin 12% value added tax. Kaya, it mga local exporter, mas na encourage na magbaligya outside Philippines. So, ano yung mga products within the Philippines is nakareach na iya globally. Kumbaga, nakakakapag-compete na kita ha ibang nga bansa. Yung napansin niyo nga kung nakahingad doon na may ibang nga bansa, may, or in, mansin niyo may mga Pinoy nga doon ibang bansa na bibilinghin mga products from coming from the Philippines kasi nakapenetrate na natin mga products outside Philippines. Tungod hindi nga value added tax we're in, uh, there is a VAT exemption. Kung baga, di rin papatawan hin value added tax ang atin pinanbaligya outside Philippines. So in return, liwat, nagkakada kita mas higher dollar reserves. Let's say for example, ang atin mga clients outside Philippines magbabayad hirahin dollars nga niya Pilipinas ha imo. Let's say for example, exporters ka. Uh, ang ira ginbabayad ha atin is dollar. Then ang atin dollar reserves din niya Philippines maghahataas. So amin itong rason kung kaya ano, uh, value added tax was imposed. So let's go to characteristics of value added tax. It is imposed on business transaction. So for my business transaction, it is possible subject to value added tax. Lalo na kung 
nakagregister kita under value added tax system. It follows the destination principles. So ano ibig sabihin nito nga it follows the destination principles. Ini nga destination principles kumbaga kun hino it na consume, hiyat mabayad hin value added tax. Amo ginsering nato nga value added tax is a consumption tax. Kun hinot na consume han goods, iya magbabayad han value added tax. Kaya ginsisiring natin nga indirect tax, it's because kun hinot seller, iya ma or kun hinot seller, kun hinot consumer, iya magbabayad han value added tax. It is an indirect tax, a privileged tax, and ad valorem tax. So again, it is an indirect tax, kaya ano, his seller, it nagsishoulder han Value added tax, not the seller. It is a privilege tax. Kaya ano privilege tax? Privilege tax kasi ining a tax, ining a value added tax is coming from our business transaction. So business is a privilege. Dire niya, dire niya right kundi a privilege lak. Kaya ano naging privilege? Kasi kung mag 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 establish ka in business, you need to have e business permit. So, it is a privilege lahat tao nga magkakadakahin business through itong nga business permit. It is an ad valorem tax. It would increase daw hindi mo collection or amount kung hindi mo tax base na hataas. Kung nahataas ito mo tax base though hindi mo tax rate is fixed, let's say for example 12%, then kung nahataas it imo tax base nahataas it imo amount that is ad valorem tax it is cumulative paano niya nagiging cumulative paano niya nagiging cumulative let's say for example pag nagpalit ka for resale let's say for example pamalit ka 100 pesos pag pumalit ka 100 pesos magbabayad ka 12% value added tax so now ani mo ginbayadan is 112 pesos ikaw kay mo man itong igbabalig ya, magpapataw kaya na hin, uh, mar, uh, gross up, uh, mag, mag, mag-gross up ka, uh, anong tawag ito? Mag, Mag-i-increase ka hin price. Kung pinalit mo hin 112, igbabalig ya mo hin mas higher. Ang tax base nga ito, halit sa for example, ang 100. So magpapatong ka pa nga ito, let's say for example, hin 110. So kung imo bagbalig ya is 110, Then, magta-times ka liwatin 12%. So, nimo output tax yan na is 13 pesos and 20 centavos. Ang dating ay mo pagpalit, ang nimo value added tax la is 12 pesos. Pero ang value added tax yan na ngayon mo pagbalig yan na nga ito nimo customer, na, ang value added tax yan na is nahitabo na nga 13 pesos and 20 centavos. So, nag-increase ang value added tax. Kaya ginsisari niya Cumulative. Cumulative. The fifth one is it employs tax credit method and basically a tax on gross margin. So, again, tungod hindi nga tax credit, amo nga the buyer requires the seller na mag-provide din receipts para itong nga resibo would serve as a proof nga makapag-avail uh, yahin tax credit which is our input VAT or input tax. A any question? I will proceed. Rates of value added tax for output VAT, we have 12% regular rate. Ito. Yes, sir. And then, yes? Okay. So,
So we have regular rate, 12% for output VAT and 0%. For input VAT, we have 12%, 0%. We have transitional input VAT rate, presumptive input VAT, and final withholding tax or final withholding VAT 5% and standard input VAT 7%. So guys, later on, ini nga mga input VAT na mga percentage, we will discuss this on part 2. We will be giving an example for this. Ini nga, ano ini nga transitional input VAT, presumptive, paano pag compute ang final withholding VAT, and standard input VAT. Ini nga final withholding VAT and standard input VAT related din yahan mga purchases by the government agencies because government agencies is uh, they are required to withhold uh, five percent VAT and then standard input VAT na seven percent so let's proceed uh, person subject to value added tax again registered person under value added tax system kung nagparegister ka Daan, in value added tax, then you system, then you are required to pay value added tax. And the non VAT registered person whose gross sales exceed 3 million. So, na breach niya ang 3 million threshold, then subject niya sa value added tax. So, franchise grantees of television opted to register under value added tax or its annual gross receipts exceed 10 million. And then, importers of goods. So again, dito tayo sa value added tax of husband and wife. So for the purpose of threshold of 3 million annual gross sales or receipts, the husband and wife shall be considered separate taxpayers. However, the aggregation rule of each taxpayer shall apply. So kung for what purposes and 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 kita ni asawa, ang mag-asawa dapat i-separate between husband and wife. So if a professional aside from his, his or her practice of profession, he or she also earned income from the business, the receipts from the practice of profession and from business shall be combined for the purpose of threshold. So kung he has band, madan niya business at the same time madan niya uh, income from his profession, then an iya business income and in the profession, ig combined to to determine kung uh, na, na bridge na ba niya ang 3 million na threshold para ma, mabaruan kung subject na ba niya ang value added tax or not so ito yung example uh, Mr. and Mrs. Juan registered their own business separately as non-VAT and each pays percentage tax during the year, the spouses had the following data. So, ang mag-asawa ko, no, they have their own businesses and they separately uh, registered under non-value-added tax. So, they opted uh, other percentage tax of 3%. Kaya, nasa rin ko, no, nga, they pay percentage tax. So, during the year, amin yan era data, han era income from their business. So, si Mr. Juan, he is, is a certified public accountant, madan niya professional fees nga nakuha for the whole year up to 0.5 million and then madan niya business na 1 million. So an iya total income for that year is 3.5 million. So na bridge niya yung uh, VAT threshold na 3 million. So therefore, magbabayad niya yan na yun value added tax. Subject na yan, value added tax na 12%. Si Mrs. Juan, waray ni, diri niya CPA, pero may din niya business, 1.8 million. So, waray niya kabritsa niya 3 million na threshold, then she is subject to percentage tax na 3%. So, again, kung nagbayad ni Juan, hira nga duha, nagbinayad hirain percentage tax from the prior quarters, 
Then, ini nga business tax nga 420, mababawasan pa inihin 3% of this amount. Kumbaga, uh, kung from the last three quarters, nakagbayad diya in 300,000, let's say for example, si Mr. Juan nakagbayad din 300,000 nga percentage tax, then ang niya babaydan na value added tax or business tax is only 120,000. Kumbaga, ini nga business tax ni Juan na 420, babawasan pa inihan mga tax credit nga yan na bayda na prior, from the prior quarters. Well, in Mrs. Juan Liwat, magbabayad yan 54,000 minus ang mga nabayda na niya na 3% OPT from the previous quarters. So let's go to list of residential units. Ma medyo magulo ang list of residential units kay madan niya mga rulings, rulings. So kung ikaw nagpaparenta kahin mga residential units, uh, we have to determine kung tagpira ang imo monthly rate ang pagparenta. So kung ang imo rental is uh, does not exceed 15,000 does not exceed 15,000 per month, then an emo proceeds from your business is not subject to value added tax. Diri subject. Sige, let's go for rule number one. If monthly rental per unit exceeds 15,000 and aggregate annual gross receipts exceed 3 million, then vatable. Kasi if you exceed 15,000, nag-exceed pa yan 3 million, then vatable na ang iya annual gross receipts. Number two, if monthly rental per unit exceeds 15,000 and the aggregate annual gross receipts does not exceed 3 million, then subject to OPT. So kung nag 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 exceed man yan 15,000 pero waray ma breach ang 3 million then diriya batable but subject to 3% OPT dapat ma breach niya ang duduha nga ma breach niya ang duduha na uh, ruling and per month and then the and aggregate annual gross receipts and 15,000, dapat sobrang 15,000. And then, sobra dapat liwatiyan 3 million para magiging vatable. Pero kung uusala didi ang na, na meet, nag-exceed yan 15,000, pero waray yan makag-breach ang 3 million, then OPT hiya. Or other in other way around. So kung waray yan mag-15,000, mag pero nag-exceed yan 3 million, then OPT lagi up here. Dapat ini nga duduha 15,000 and 3 million dapat na breach niya. Dapat sobra 15,000, sobra 3 million para magiging vatable aniya annual gross receipts. So third, if the several residential units for lease, let's say for example ano damo ani mo residential units, may dani mo uh, Camellia 1, Camellia 2 ng mga residential units ngayon mo ginpaparentahan. So, monthly rental does not exceed 15,000 regardless of the total annual gross receipts not subject to VAT but for 3% OPT. So, basta waray mag-exceed basta waray mag-exceed in 15,000 aniya monthly bis pa ito nag-exceed ng 3 million you are not subject to value added tax but subject to 3% OPT. The second one, monthly rental exceeds 15,000. The aggregate annual receipts excluding monthly rental of 15,000 and below exceeds 3 million subject to VAT. Otherwise, 3% OPT. Ano't ibig sabihin ini? Let's proceed with our example. Ini nga second na bullet. Na monthly rental exceeds 15,000 pero aniya total receipts excluding monthly rentals na exceed yan 3 million subject to 
subject to value added tax, otherwise 3% OPT. I remind. Example, in 2020, SELC list out department for students with the following data. It's a, for example, Totoloca floors and an apartment ni SELC. First floor, may danya 10 units, fully occupied with monthly rate of 15,500. So pag kita pala ninyo yung 15,500, possible, vatable na haya. Kasi exceed na yan 15,000. Second floor, 15 units, fully occupied, rate niya ay 16,000 pesos. Then, an rate pala niya ng monthly 16,000, possible, subject na yahan value added tax. And third floor, 10 units, fully occupied, monthly rate 15,000. Ini nga 15,000, bis pa itun hiya, uh, nag exceed in 3 million, and hiya total, dere na talagya masa subject to value added tax, kasi wari niya ka bridge and 15,000 above. So, pakiana, how much is the total receipt subject to value added tax in 2020? Second, how much is the total receipt subject to 3% OPT in 2020? And how much is the total business tax in 2020? So, on first floor and second floor, may be subject to value added tax. Pero, kukumpyuto natin kung nag-exceed dalagyahan 3 million. Bangin kasi, waray hiya mag-exceed in 3 million, then subject lang hiya han 3% OPT. Bisa nag-exceed na hiya han 15,000 per month. Again, kung nag-exceed man yan 15,000 per month, kung wara hiya mag-exceed ang VAT threshold nga 3 million, dire hiya subject to value added tax, but subject to 3% value added tax. And rate liwat nga 15,000, regardless pera itong ka units, basta 15,000 and below, bis pa itong nagabot in 10 million ang ag ag aggregated annual rates, ano, aggregated annual receipts, Direct ya value added tax but subject to 3% value 3% OPT lang kasi wari niya ka bridge and 15 15,000 above na rate So adi anaton solution for question number 1 ko no pera pera nga amount it subject to value added tax so on first floor my monthly rate niya nga 15,500 my 10 units for 12 months, so aniya 1 year, may daniya 1,860,000, while the second floor, 16,000, 15 units, may daniya 12 months, then 2.88 million. So animo total uh, aggregate annual receipts in 2020, naabot yan 4.74 million. So, pagkita palang amount, Waray na duda, subject na yan value added tax na 12%. So therefore, in mo business tax for value added tax, times mo la ang aggregate annual receipts by 12%, that is now your value added tax, which is 568,800. So in question number two, na pera kung mo receipt subject to 3% OPT, dinanay mo lang third floor. Uh, 15,000 units, uh, 15,000 per unit, which is 10 units, 12 months, so 1.8 million. So therefore, an IMO business tax as to OPT is only 54,000, subject only to 3% OPT. So an IMO total business tax, i-add mo lang ang OPT plus your business uh, value added tax na 12%, that is now your total uh, total business tax for for the year. Any question? Hello? What I said. What I Sana sugad la pero may kasimple ang pakiana. 
Sana sugad lang ano, sana sugar it board exam. Pero ang board exam dapat maram kamohan principles, basic principles kasi ang board exam kasi ang tapatan leton is basic principles. So kung maseryin ka familiar naman ko ini nga list list of residential units. Absent ka man na natong discussion, no, ka maka-answer. But anyway, masayon la ang list of residential units. Isipon la niyo, tagpirat monthly rate. Pira ang iya total total receipts for the year. So kung ang iya monthly rate is 15,000 na nabab, and then nag 3 million niya, sobra, then waray na duda, value added tax na iya. Dapat duduha nga rule ang iyo mamimit. 15,000 and above, 3 million above. Para subject siya sa value added tax. Pero kung uusa lang nga doon na meet, uusa lang na meet, then waray duda, 3% lang hiya OPT. So kung list of residential units, doon doon at yung makikitaon, monthly rate and aggregate total annual receipts. Pag 15,000 and above, 15,000 above, dire 15,000 and above ha, 15,000 above and 3 million above value added tax na hiya. Pero kung uusa lang ito na meet, 3% lang hiya. Clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Clear. Sige, quiz kita. Balit. Ay, nahirabangin mga picture lang ito ako nakikita. Nagkagawa sa niba. Miss Miss Katubay, adi Miss Katubay. Hello? Yes sir, sorry sir. Okay. Miss Gala, adi Miss Gala. Eh, lagi na no ka Gladys. Bangin kasi nagawa ako. Pero ko ko open ang camera. Sige, pag-camera kita, mag magsiselfie kita, magsiselfie. Friends, Yo, yun. sir. Sir, adi ako gawas, master room. Master room? Mahilig yung decorpin ng master room. Ay, sir, kaya wari kasi signal sa balay, adi ako sa gawas. Ada, upaya ha ba yung may mga halas nga da? Aray, <laughs> sir. Hello, hello. Hi hey, Miss Minil, nakita ko na. Hi hey, Miss Kwaiso, so, nakita ko na. Hi hey, Miss Yabora. Matatapos na natat oras, ba hindi ko ka mamarol ko yung atanan. Miss Fernan, Adi, Miss Elnas, Mr. Bakilod. Ano pa tadi? Miss Inson, Miss Villamor. Damo tayo sa ano? Maserong. Ha? Are you with Balay, sir? Maserong. Sige la, okay la, okay la. So, ayun. Masayang lahat value added tax. Balit. So, next meeting, we will be discuss we will be discussing mga VAT dimmed sales. Dim sales. Ano't mga dim sales? Dim sales, amin and ginsis rin na subject to value added tax, bisan waray actual nga ginbaligya. Amin ginsis rin nga dim sales. Subject kaya ang value added tax, bisan waray ginbaligya. Let's say for example, he miss he miss Quaison. Nagpipinan hatag yan iya mga inventory haya tindahan. Kami siya nga agi. Para may napalit ito akong tinda, panhatag ko nala. So ito yung pinanhatag ng mga tinda is subject to value added tax. As if there is a sale. Amin ito example hand, deemed sale. So next meeting we will discuss regarding um, part 2 of value added tax. At ito nga mga input VAT ng mga percentage at uh, transitional, uh, presumptive, uh, final withholding VAT na 5% and then the 
uh, standard value added tax na 7%, uh, we will discuss that on our next meeting. So, any question with our topic? Hello? None. Char. Mr. Bakilod, may pakiyana ka? Hello? Wala man sir so far pero ah input input di na kala di ba example sari sari store ah uh, so mapita sa ah? grocery ah sige go on diri ko na diri ko na batin mga pag Chapi ka. Chapi, sir. Chapi. Chapi, oh, Chapi. Hinala. <laughs> ah, chat, ah, chat. Babasa ka rin. Kung ha, sari-sari store? Sige, sige, try, try. Bangin, bangin. Okay natin mo signal. Mr. Bakilod. Try, try. Sir. Sir. Check. Ha? Mic check. Sige. Pilag, yap. Okay na, okay na. Sir, di ba, for example, sa sorry, store, ah, Magpalit ka grocery. Uh, Anak ko na. Ano mo? Ba sir? Anak papalit product sa grocery store ma mapang gro. So anak pinlit nga to may. Hello. Yes. Tapos naman kaligya ko tapos kaligya siya mas tamarap na ba pagbigya ba tinarap ng ginag up dire ko na sa sayo na tayo pakyan na bain suga dito mo sinario ano let's say for example sari sa may dani mo sari sari store and then pumalit ka ha grocery Ano yung magpagpalita grocery, mal value added tax? Pero kay sari-sari store ka man lang, uh, possible diri, waray ka nagpa pa register under value added value added tax system. So kung uh, sari-sari store ka, let's check li what, kung itong nga yung sales, waray mag-abotin 60,000. Ay, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, imo annual sales, waray magabutin 60,000. Diri na ito ni sa subject to tax. Diri na ito sa subject to income tax or any tax. Kasi para na itong pang, pang ano la ito ya, pang survival la ito niya. Pero kung iti mo sari-sari store, it's, it's a big store. Pagada ako talaga, naabot kay hin, hin millions nga sales in a year. Then possible subject ka to in subject ka to income tax sure ako subject ka to income tax kasi da ko na imo sales for the year so ani mo pakiana kun waray ya kasab waray ya ma kun waray ya mag register under value added tax pero may dan ya mga input tax may dan ya mga vat nga nakuha oh diri na ya diri ya Diri ya value added tax nga registered pero nakagreach na yan duro da ko nga sales above 60,000 let's say. Aniya input tax nga ya pagpalit is part na han cost aniya purchases. Part na han cost. Diri mo na igdidak or waray mo na 
Diri mo na i-record, separately ang imo input tax. Or pwede mo i-separate ang input tax, pero part na lagi apiyahan imo cost han imo mga tinda. Kasi waray mo man hiya pag, waray, waray mo man output VAT nga pag hahapakan. Waray mo man hiya in output VAT na pwede ni mo ya dito ig minus. So therefore, ni mo input VAT, input tax, magiging part of the cost han imo goods. Okay. A any question? Mr. Corpin, ba may pakiana ka? Or may Bye po, sir. Misa gala. Nawaray misa gala, no? Para yak late. Oh. <laughs> Adi pa nga yan. May pakiana, Nim? <laughs> Waray po. Waray. Uh, Nian, magpo-post ako in quiz hanaton Google Class Classroom. Masayon la. Masayon la. Para may da natin activity. Uh, computation. May da natin activities. Ha? May da natin activity. May na natin? Uncomprehensive. Ay, oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nangalimot ako. Nag-answer na ka mo? Masayang lang ito. Waray pa siya. Dere man siya. Sige. So, waray na pakiana. Let's call it for no. night. 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 Waray na. Waray. So, Waray pa siya, Trey. Kaya na pa. Waray na. na. Sige. Let's call for that. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for attending our class. See you next week, same time. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, po, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye. Bye.